Hey guys, Forecasting back here with another video. Today, we're going to be showing you how to rig up a worm. So, these are the Zoom Baits worms. They're super salty. Plus, that's what it says, and they're shaky head June bug. Shaky head worms June bugs. You can buy these at Dick's Sporting Goods, at Bass Pro Shops, wherever fishing supplies are sold. Uh, what you're going to need for this, uh, one good hook to use is a jig head. And I'll show you why you need that in a minute. Another one that you need is a worm hook, or you can use this hook. It doesn't really matter. Um, and what I like to use is a bullet weight. So let's get started. So uh, these zoom baits, I love them, absolutely love them, because they. Um, I was fishing the other day. I caught about five bass um, on one worm, and that worm lasted me the whole time. So I'm gonna show you how to rig it up. Let's get into it. So I'm using a six to one. Six three to one ratio rod. Let me unlock it. Okay. One thing. Um. So right now I'm gonna show you how to rig up a Texas rig the worm. So what you're gonna want to do if you have a jig head, grab it, and then you're not gonna need a bullet weight for this because the jig head is a little bit heavy. So add some weight to it. Um, the bullet weight is for the other hook, and I'll show you why in a minute. So you're going to want to feed it through here. And how I tied it, tie it how uh, you do, and tie it how I did it for the scatter at minnow. If you want to look at the review on that, go back a previous video. So um, I'm going to tie the knot. Okay, there we go. I just tied it. Now with the part that's attached to the rod, the line, you're going to want to grab it with your hand and tug on it to make sure the knot is nice and tight, that a fish won't take it. And you're going to want to cut the axis line off. Then I'm going to show you how to Texas rig the worm. So you're going to want to grab your worm. Take it out, obviously. Um, okay, now with your jig head. You're going to grab the worm and put it through the top right here and make it go down as far as you can and then lead it out through the body like how I just did here. Now you're going to want to turn the worm like that, push it up to here like it is, This uh, and then put it through the middle of the body. Oh, this looks too small. You could either rig it like that or leave it like this. This is good to do too. And so what you're going to want to do is cast it out, let it sink all the way down to the bottom, and just start jigging it around. That's why it's called a jig head. And um, the bass are going to be attracted to it. So just um, tug it out three times, wait, let it calm down, do it again, and keep doing it, and keep doing it. Like I said in the last video, like use that pause so that the bass catch up with your worm, or else you're not going to catch anything for the whole day. Maybe, maybe wrong on that, but uh, now let me show you on the other hook how to rig it up. Let me take this out here. Now with the other one, you're going to want to grab your bullet weight and put your line through here. Let's see here. Okay, there you go. Now you're going to want to tie the hook. I'm not going to do the 16 time loop. You already know that. So just going to tie it on. Like I'm going to fakely tie, fake tie it on just like for video purposes. Just like um, tie that knot there. Now for this hook, what you're going to want to do is grab your hook, put it through the top of the worm again, make it go as far down as you can and stick it out through the body like that. You're gonna wanna turn your worm like this. 
Make it go all the way to the top of the eye of the hook. Put the hook through the body of the worm. And make it stick out like that. That's how you're going to want to do it. So, like the jig head, you're going to do the same process to attract the fish. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Don't forget um, to get one of these magazines at Bass Pro Shops. Uh, they're free. They don't cost a penny because everything there costs a pretty penny. So, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is for the casting. We'll catch you later. Mm -hmm.